الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على أشرف المرسلين سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وتابعيه وتابعي تابعيه إلى يوم الدين My dear respected brothers and sisters in Islam Our dear sons and daughters the future of Islam Inshallah رب العالمين السلام عليكم ورحمة الله تعالى وبركاته Again and again, we are in the month of Ramadan and we're trying to pick up some specific things in order to help us change our course of our life in terms of many things, how we can improve, how we can capitalize in a lot of good things to pick up during the month of Ramadan and stick into it and keep practicing for the rest of the year. One of tonight would be your friends. As the very common saying here, tell me who's your friend is, I will tell you who you are. What kind of people you relate to? What kind of friends and what qualities and what of those people you can relate to, to entrust and to communicate and to seek advice and to give advice as well. I mean, easy to say, Hunaka Basharun كاللؤلؤ النفيس صحبتهم شرف ورفقتهم ضمان والتواصل معهم حق ونسيانهم محال والدعاء لهم واجب أرزقهم اللهم صباح الذاكرين ومساء الشاكرين وأجر الصابرين آمين آمين يا رب العالمين There are specific kind of, of people around us They are like pure pearls Some people would say nowadays we don't have such people Oh Allah there are but go and find them. Pure pearls. They are. Oh, we have to look for them. How you would know they are with that wonderful and a great quality? It's an honor to accompany them. Really an honor. Suhbatuhum sharaf. You feel like you are with good, wonderful, great people to be with most of the time. وَرِفْقَتُهُمْ ضَمَانِ You accompany them, you'll find safety, security, and you'll be granted a wonderful companionship. You never put a question mark about those people. Never be in doubt when you reach out for them for something. وَنِسْيَانُهُمْ muhal To forget them, it's, it's almost impossible. They have been sticking to your mind, to your heart, to your soul. How come I forget them? You always remind yourself of them, of their good beha behavior and wonderful manner and the moral system and so on and so forth. Therefore, Always, always remember them at dua. Yani one of the best dua, as we learn from Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, يعني You have that wonderful person in a good brotherhood relationship. Whether he's around you or not around you, most of the time, if he's, if he's not 
around you is totally absent out of the scene, yet you always make dua for him or her or them. That's why most of the time we'll find those good people when they are traveling. Hey, don't forget me in your dua while you're suffering. You're asking him or her. And they would tell you, oh, when I'm not around, always remember me in your dua. Because once someone is not around, easily to forget. But as long as you remember that person and you make dua for him fi ghayb, in that unseen, it does tell you that most people deserve this dua because of their behavior, their attitude, and their manner, moral system, and so on and so forth. And we make always dua for them. It's a wonderful ayah in the Quran to remind me and remind all of you. So amazing, wallahi, this ayah. Though it is very, very short one. Let me read it in Arabic first and then I will share with you the translation of the meaning. al yawma idhin ba'aduhum li ba'adin adu illa al There is a category of people holding the highest level of friendship, al akhilla We do not call them Sadiq. No, Sadiq is a friend. But Khalil, this is the highest of the highest ranking of friendship ever. That's why we read in the Quran, yani, man huwa Khalilullah. Ibrahim alayhi salam. Ibrahim alayhi salam was in the highest level of that uh, companionship or friendship of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Al-Akhila. This category of people. Some of them, we're talking about the highest level of friendship. friendship. Some of them are enemies to each other. You see, this is the highest ranking of friendship. And you'll find among them some people who are enemies to each other. Hatred, disliking, envy, you name it, yes. Except one category among them. Illa al muttaqin Illa al muttaqin Except those ones who are conscious of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's teaching and instruction and guidance. As long as that category of people whom Al-Akhila, the highest ranking of friendship ever, are guided by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala among the righteousness, would be the best ever. Pick up those people and stick to them. Wallahi, when I'm reading this ayah and related to those, yani, one real situation I was in during 2012 and 2013, I remember those two years exactly, because while I was gone in 2012, once for Umrah and again for Hajj during that year, there was some communication regarding an issue in the community, in a conflict, a big conflict wasn't an easy one. No, it was very devastating uh, situation. And, and both sides kept calling and say how you can help, how you can intervene, how you can. And I, while I was gone, I was studying what is going on. And I said, wait till I come, till I find out. And hear from both sides to find out what is going on. I'm lying. When I came back, and in this office, a lie in this masjid with the blessings of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala here I listen to both sides Allah for hours and hours and hours and hours and days and days and days and I say nothing just taking notes taking notes and asking questions taking notes and asking questions Allah the only thing by the help and mercy and guidance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala this is the ayah I recited again. الأخلاء يومئذ بعضهم لبعض عدو إلا المتقين يعني 
one group chose the best friends ever, and the other one claimed that we have the best friends ever. Yet both groups of friends start fighting. Fighting means yani, yani money and poverty and, and courts and uh, religious organization and you name it. Yani we're not talking about business somewhere or a conflict about a property or no, 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 no. Within, within a masjid, within Islamic center, yani. Find out who's around you. If you claim that leadership and around you people who are not among the muttaqeen, that fighting will keep going till the day of judgment, till yawm al qiyamah. But if those people who are surrounding you are from within that category of al muttaqeen, fearing Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, abiding by the teaching of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for any issue, whatever that issue is, related to the teaching of Allah, have a solution out of it, you're out. But if not, and I said, that's it. Qudi al-amru alladhi fihi tastaftiyan. Salaamu alaykum. Get out of here. Kabbali sit down. Go study this ayah. Enough. Come find out. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala help you. Wallahi, that was the only answer I give after so many, many days. Because this is the Quran, this is the guidance, this is what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is telling us. Yani, you think those who are surrounding you are the best of the best friends ever, but they are taking you al to hell. Are you thinking that they are? So please, Wallahi, as a reminder for myself, as a reminder for you, my dear brothers and sisters, and I find out good people to stick to because if they do not do nothing for you at all, when you seek some advice from them, they would advise you according to the teaching of Allah. They will never give you their own personal agenda or their interest or what they would like to have as an outcome of that relationship or looking for benefits from you or others and so on and so forth. So let's take that wonderful opportunity of the month of Ramadan Asking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to help all of us to find, Ya Allah, provide me with the best friends ever. Take your spouse as a best friend. Why not? Husband and wife. Take your children as your best friends ever. Start from within with that nuclear unit first. And my wife, you're my wife, but you are my best friend. My husband is my husband, but he is the best friend. And both of us parents who have children, they are no longer our children, yet they are, but you are my best friends. Let's sit down, let's talk. Your partner, your employee, uh, your neighbor, someone, somewhere. Friends. Al-akhillau yawma idhin ba'dhum li ba'dhin illa al-muttaqeen. Illa al-muttaqeen. As'al Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala ay yuwafiqna lima yuhibbu yarda. وآخر دعوانا أن الحمد لله رب العالمين والسلام عليكم ورحمة الله تعالى وبركاته